today I'll be replacing my good old ring flat light cap with, with the new ring flat light cap pro. Is it worth the upgrade? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check out the version 2 of the Ring Floodlight, the Ring Floodlight Cam Pro. If you have been following my channel, you know that I've been using my Ring Floodlight Cam since I originally reviewed this 4 years ago, April of 2017 to be exact. This is my second unit though because the original unit that I have had the plastic cover of the lens fall off last December of 2019. Nothing was wrong with the camera, and I could have just super glued it back, but I decided to get Ring to replace it. Which by the way, if you are subscribed to their Protect Plus plan, then you get extended warranty on all your Ring products. So I had my Ring Floodlight Cam replaced free of charge after 2 years and 8 months of use. This Ring Floodlight Cam is also the only Wi-Fi camera that I have that is literally exposed to the elements. It gets the full brunt of the sun at least 6 to 8 hours a day and has been working in the front of my garage, rain or shine, the last 4 years, and a year and a half of use on this second unit of mine, and it doesn't show its age. But now, because Ring released the Ring Floodlight Cam Pro, we will see if it is time to retire the good old reliable, and replace it with a new version. So we'll do a quick unboxing of the Floodlight Cam Pro, check out its features, set it up, and before installing it in my garage area, I'll be installing it first in my backyard where I usually test outdoor Wi-Fi cameras and run the usual battery of tests and see if this Floodlight Cam Pro will be a good option for your home and a good replacement for my original Floodlight Cam in my garage area. Let's check out its features. So this is Ring's most advanced outdoor security camera and that is mostly aside from the 2000 lumen floodlights, it also has the radar powered 3D motion detection and its bird's eye view feature. You get more accurate and real-time notifications when motion is detected. And I've been testing a lot of Wi-Fi cameras and camera systems for 5 years now and I can tell you that Ring wired cameras like their floodlight cam is the most accurate in motion detection. And if you set it up right, you will barely, if you get any, false motion alerts. If the camera gets triggered, there is always someone or something that triggered the camera. And with the Ring app, you can turn on the lights, speak using the two-way audio, which supposedly is improved, and also sound the siren if you need to. And with the new 3D motion detection, you can customize the motion zones up to 30 feet away. And you know exactly when and where somebody stepped onto your property. And you can view this through an aerial map that is superimposed in the app. And with the Ring Protect plan subscription, you can review motion and live view events in the cloud. You can set people-only detection and reach notifications. Subscription starts at $3 a month or $30 a year per device or $10 a month or $100 a year for all your Ring devices and cameras in your home. Let's check out the detailed specs. It is still 1080p resolution but has HDR or high dynamic range. And it has a 140 degree horizontal and 80 degrees vertical field of view. It has a 110 decibel siren. Two-way audio with advanced noise cancellation. It has two 3000 Kelvin temperature, 2000 lumens bright floodlights. It is still a yellow warm light. It can connect to both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. And it's weather resistant with an operating temperature of negative 5 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And this can be mounted in a wall or in a ceiling. Time to open up the box. So we have the Ring Floodlight Cam Wired Pro with 3D motion detection. Opening the box, front and center is the floodlight, but we will check out the accessories first. We have the user guide, and now back with a new design, the orange combo driver. We have the junction box bracket, wire nuts, hex cup nuts, assorted machine screws that will work with your junction box. And we have the little window sticker. We have the floodlight cam itself, a somewhat different design, sleeker looking. And now the PIR sensor is now matted black. The floodlights are now click and turn adjustable, but it's made of plastic. Actually the floodlight itself is mostly plastic. The original one is metal as to the floodlights and the base. The floodlights are now oval shaped, it still has yellow 3000 Kelvin color temperature. 
The mounting plate is also now plastic, which I think is a bit disappointing. The original one is made of metal. On the back, we have the wires that you need to connect to your junction box. As to the camera unit itself, we still have the reset button switch on top. We have the camera lens, light sensor, mic, and the PIR sensor in the bottom. And we have the speakers and infrared LEDs right here. The lights are adjustable up and down and adjusting it side to side, you also need to twist the base of the light. Let's set this up. Now normally you will do the installation first, but just to show you, I'll set up the camera indoors and I have to wire it and plug it in an outlet to show you the setup. Power up the camera. Download, sign up, and log in to the Ring app. Scroll down and click set up a device. Choose security cams. Scan the QR code which is on the back side of the camera and also in the quick start guide. Name your floodlight cam, which I'll name mine Floodlight Pro. Click continue so your floodlight needs to be installed. Click light is flashing and wait until your floodlight is connected. Click on the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to and wait until you hear Setup successful. Now if you have set up the Ring app with Amazon Alexa, it will be automatically be set up to use with Alexa. As to the new sidewalk feature, not at this time for me. Thank you. Click continue. Now time for installation. Make sure power is off to the junction box that you're going to connect the floodlight. Aside from turning off from the breaker box, also turn off at the switch. Which by the way, I have installed a switch guard on mine so it will not be accidentally turned off. The switch needs to be on at all times when you connect the floodlight cam. I will link the switch guard that I'm using down below. So I'll be removing my old floodlight first and I just want to point out something. The old mounting plate is metal. And the new one is plastic. And Ring made an additional step in the installation by adding the metal bracket. Instead of just screwing in the mounting plate like before. I think this is more of a backward thinking here by Ring. Now you need to install the bracket first which I'm glad is metal. And you have to install the plastic plate. And screw it in with the one of the included machine screws. This one I like. They used to have an S hook and now it is a strap. Which you need to temporarily hang the floodlight while you wire it in. Screw in the wires using the wire nuts, black to black, white to white, and green is ground. And you can then slide in the floodlight cam aligning the holes to the machine screws of the mounting plate. Screw in the end caps and removing the driver bit on the combo driver, use the handle to tighten the end caps to secure the floodlight in place. Position the floodlights and the camera and it is now installed. Time to check out the settings in the app. Now this is just a quick browse on the settings. On the main app page, you will see the current snapshots of your cameras. Click on it to get to live view. And in here, you can start two-way talk. You can turn on the floodlights or activate the siren. And you can enlarge the footage to full view. In the timeline, you can scroll to the right to get to the past motion events. And you can scrub through it and you will see it is like a time lapse that you can easily scrub back and forth. You can also scroll through the snapshot capture in the timeline that has no motion events. Click on the gear icon in the upper right corner for the floodlight camera settings, where you can turn on and off the floodlights, motion detection, and motion alerts. Activate the siren or go to live view. And we'll just go to the motion settings, where you can edit the motion zones and we have the 3D motion detection, which you do need to set up to get accurate results. So you can reset it if needed. And following the app, you need to move the floodlight icon to the area where you installed it. And then you need to use the slider and turn the map to where the camera is pointing at using the camera's view as a reference. Click continue. And select how far you want the motion detection to reach, from 5 feet to 30 feet or more. As to the light settings, you can adjust the motion zones just for the floodlights. Adjust the brightness. And you can even set up the light schedules, like you want for the floodlight to turn on dusk to dawn. Now time to do some testing. As you will see, I've done most of the testing in my proving ground which is my backyard. And come to think of it, I've reviewed my original floodlight a long time ago, way before all these tests that I've been doing when I review security cameras. And I'm excited to see how this floodlight cam performs. But before the testing, if you find this video matter videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, long-term reviews, and comparison videos which I will definitely compare this Floodlight Pro to the original Floodlight Cam in my upcoming videos. So hit the subscribe button. 
Thank you. So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Light Life Cam Pro. And the video quality, this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, running manifest. So this is the video quality of the Ring Floodlight Cam Pro at night and this with the floodlights turned on, uh, motion activated and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, Now, this is the video quality of the Rain Floodlight Cam Pro at night. And all my battery lights turned on. And I can see the 2000 lumen light of the floodlight. It's a little bit dimmer, actually, than the 2000 solar floodlight that I have. So I'm actually going to take a picture of it and see to show you guys the difference. Uh, it looks about the same in the picture here. But this is what it looks like at night. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the new Ring Floodlight Cam Pro. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 526. So let's check it out. I got a notification. And when you click on it, you'll get a snapshot preview. And when you click on the snapshot, you will get to the live view, which loads up pretty quick. And you will have the 3D uh, view right here on top. All right, so it is 527, so it's been about a minute or less than a minute. So let's check out the cool off or the cool down period of the uh, Ring Floodlight Cam Pro. There you go. Oh, I just. Yeah, I got a notification again, so it is less than it is less than a minute, and it will continually record. You can adjust the recording from a minute to up to two minutes, I think, on the app. So we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Ring Floodlight Cam Pro, and uh, this is uh, mostly uh, camera-based detection. So I'm gonna start off at the farthest distance that I can test here will be 40 feet. So I cranked the sensitivity to a medium setting. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, got detected pretty quick. Cool. So at least 40 feet or probably more than that. This is the audio quality coming out from the Ring Floodlight Cap Pro. 
This is the audio quality coming out from the ring floodlight cap, bro. Show floodlight, bro. Okay. And you can use two-way talk. So what do you think guys? Overall video quality is better. Not really noticeable, but the night vision with the floodlight off, like when watching live view at night, is definitely sharper. As I said before in the 3D motion detection and bird's eye view feature, I'm not really sure of its benefits and definitely not be the sole reason for me to choose the floodlight pro to the regular floodlight cam. This feature is still dependent on the motion zones that you set. It cannot be used by itself. And they said that you will get precise distance detection, which I can tell you I don't need an aerial map just to see where the motion is, if I see it in the footage. I would know how far that person or that car is, just seeing my landmarks in my property. Comment down below if you have this floodlight or the Ring Pro 2 and you have this 3D detection turned on. And convince me that this feature helps you in motion detection. And what would be the difference if you turn this feature off? I don't think it helps with false motion detection. In my setup, the bird's eye view doesn't start if a car is coming up in my garage driveway and will only start when the car is already stopped and already in my driveway, and not before that. Anyways, I digress. I'll do a more thorough comparison video with this Floodlight Pro to the original Floodlight Cam in my future videos. At this time, if you have the original Floodlight Cam, I'm not sure if the Pro is worth the upgrade. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.